moments later. I really regret this for all of our Dallas Cowboy fans. Um, I uh, will tell you this, that uh, uh, I've been around, I've seen Michael Irvin tear up and cry when he couldn't lose anybody because he's just recovering from knee surgery. Yet his ass came back and led a team to three Super Bowls. I know you can be there if you're there. That room's full of guys that can get it done. I believe in them, coaches and all. No, I'm pleading with you. Please, please, shut the hell up. What's going on, Cowboy Faithful? It's your boy DMV back with another one. I, at this point, I think that it's not just Cowboy Faithful that I'll be inviting uh, into my home or into this podcast. I think there will be a lot of haters here. And you know what? Go ahead and hate on, bro, because karma's real. That's really what this morning is going to be about, right? But I'm going to give a disclaimer, right? The disclaimer is, as a fan, it's a rite of passage to say we effing suck like Dak Prescott said. Because Dak was a fan before he was a player. You know when you effing suck. As a matter of fact, being a player, you know when you suck. You know when things are going bad. You know when you're doing dumb stuff just to get yourself out of, just to get yourself out of that funk, but it, none of it ever really works, right? As a rite of passage of being, because we haven't been here in a while, so I can explain the rules to you guys, right? Somebody yesterday on my Twitter said, stop with all the negative stuff. Bro, the whole team, everything is negative right now. Everything is negative right now. What you want me to stop? What you want me to, you want me to uh, uh, send you flowers to work? You want me to fluff your pillows? You want me to be like, be, be like that mom that's going to lie to you and tell you everything's going to be okay? It's not going to be okay. Not for this year, at least. It's not going to be okay. I haven't done that and I'm not going to do that. I have been solutions guy, but right now, dog, why offer solutions if they're not going to take them, Right? We're watching every solution that we offer them, for the most part, somewhere else, balling the F out right now, right? It's karma. It's what you get when you don't do right by people. It's what you get when you don't do the right things. It's what happens when you cut corners or if you try and manipulate people. I said it before and I'll say it again. Shut your ass up, Jerry. Shut up. I'm going to say what 11 can't say on his podcast that y'all get, get upset about. Shut your ass up. I don't care if you got emotional or if you crying or that. No, nah, hell no, nah, bro. Y'all better not buy that either. Fire the GM Jerry. Hashtag that. Hashtag that because everything that's going wrong right now is mainly he's the main ingredient. And I know we want to kick Dak Prescott while he's down. I know we want to kick Zeke Elliott while he's down. I know we want to kick CD Lamb when he's down, when he's out there fighting because they took deals that this front office doesn't know how they're not equipped to handle big contracts. Not because the money's not there, because they suck at it, bro. And they suck at it on purpose. It's on purpose, bro. The telltale sign for me has been the last three years of not drafting skill guys. And it's like, why wouldn't you draft skill guys? Because linemen are cheaper. Linemen are cheaper. They're cheaper and they shut the hell up. They're cheaper and they shut the hell up. Y'all think 11 going to be here? I don't. I don't think 11 going to be here very, very much longer. Because 11 going to keep talking and 11 going to keep making sense. Right? That's the crazy thing about it, right? Half of our fan base doesn't like when I'm too soft, but the other half Hates when I'm talking and I'm making sense, bro. Talking and making sense. I put out a video on Zeke Elliott a couple days ago, right? All I kept hearing was, Zeke ain't that guy no more. Zeke ain't it. Zeke blah, blah, blah. People didn't bother to watch the video. 
the reason that I wanted to post the video is when the run got good or the things that we were doing got good, Mike purposely went away from it. This is the part where I'm going to get, this is the part where I'm going to fry Mike McCarthy's sorry ass, right? When the run got good or the things that we were doing well, he went away from it and he tried to do things that weren't going to work so that the people upstairs weren't right, right? Cool, right? Y'all, we, 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 we like Rico. Rico's cool. I did a video on what Rico had to do. He did that yesterday. I did that a couple months ago. Zeke, so not Zeke, Rico's averaging six yards a carry. Rico's cooking in the passing game, right? Still only got, well, I think he was 12 carries for 75 yards. Only 12 in a game that was essentially it was a winnable football game yesterday. And he still kept throwing the damn ball. That was my point. I kept trying to tell you, Mike don't want to run the ball. He don't want to run the ball because upstairs told him that running the ball is going to work. And guess what? This is the offensive line that you can run the ball with if you do the right things and if it's the right timing. It's a team that I think could be a little bit better if you did those things. If you add a weapon and you did the things in the running game, this team could be a little better because you're protecting a defense that doesn't have players. Nope, Mike McCarthy does what he always does. He don't want to run the ball. He doesn't care about running it effectively, but he's going to tell you that BS in a press conference. Now, what happened with Zeke? We deserved what happened yesterday. We deserved to see Rico go off the way he was going off, and you still ain't use him. You still ain't use him. We all know that Rico had more juice than Z. That's not the issue. The issue for me was I felt like you could use the running game. You could use all of them in a certain way. And you can make this a better football team to where your quarterback isn't as exposed. Oh, guess what? Your quarterback got hurt, bro. Your quarterback got hurt. Why'd your quarterback get hurt? Because the route concepts and all those things and not having the guys on the outside, you know, it required him to run. It required him to run. And now you got a $60 million quarterback that is gun shy right now because there was a time in the game where Tolbert was open, but he thought there was pressure and there wasn't pressure. He was seeing ghosts. Everything that happened yesterday was due to the people upstairs that are making decisions. Guess what? Y'all told us this was a good football team. We knew it was not. We knew it was not. Now, guess what? In the beginning of the season, obviously, you know, I could see things where this team could have been better and injuries kind of derailed it. I thought it could have been a little bit more physical football team. And I think that our young defensive players are are coming along, right? Like, I like some of the things I see from Louis Fowle. I like, I, I love what I'm seeing from Overshown. Um, Kalen Carson got, oh, man, it was a beating yesterday. It was a beating. Carl Lawson, um... I don't think he's a young guy that I'm considering. I think he was a, a free agent retread, retre, but he had a pretty good game yesterday uh, for the most part. But outside of that, I, I mean, I don't think the defense lost us the game yesterday. I think all of the decisions on the offensive side, Mike McCarthy, fake punt and uh, uh, bad jet sweeping, stuff like that, put a, put the defense in a very, very bad situation. If there was a fireable game, if there was a fireable game, it was that one yesterday. It was that one. But Jerry, save your crocodile tears, bro. Save that. You want to know why I don't feel sorry for you? Because a couple weeks ago, you just told a radio host they didn't know football because it was asking you about all this same dumb shit. It was asking you about all this same dumb shit. Asking you about ways to get this team better. You know, Jeff, Jeff is going to go for a rant. Jeff is going to go for a rant today. Jeff's going for a rant. And I hope he does. And I'm going to send him, send him this part of the video. I'm going to send it to him. Jeff's going to go on a rant and I'm going to love it. And I'm going to watch. I'm going to tune in. He's going to fry Jerry. Bro, don't nobody want to hear them crocodile tears, bro. At this point, what you're trying to do is you're trying to, you're trying to say you're going to make moves, right? Because there's tweets out there that, you know, we're going to be players in the market, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. I'm just paraphrasing right now. Shut your ass up, bro. You ain't doing nothing. You're going to tank this year. 
because y'all are trying to save money. Y'all the cheapest rich people I've ever seen in my damn life. It's the craziest thing ever. It, it, I, you want to know what it is? Part of it is you don't want people to understand what it is for them to understand their own worth. And I, I got on good faith that not only do you pay your coaches cheap, you pay your staff cheap. You cheap all the way across the board because y'all believe that the star, which in a sense, it, it, it's true. Y'all believe that the star weighs more than money. Y'all try to sell people on that, but it's not the truth, bro. Y'all are, y'all are manipulating. Y'all are manipulating. And right now, everybody figured it out. It's 2024. Cat Williams warned y'all about people like Diddy and Jerry Jones. Warned y'all about people like that. That's all I got for y'all, though, bro. Karma. Karma's why all this is happening. Jerry, Mike McCarthy, and then we got to look over, and I got to look over, and I got to be in this area and watch the commanders do what they're doing with Dan Quinn. I got to sit here and deal with it. Most of y'all don't. Y'all don't know what it's like to be here when they're winning, especially when we suck, especially when we're bad. Now, if we're in contention, that's one thing. Right now, they're pulling away from us. Right now, Philly's pulling away from us. Philly going to whoop our ass next week, y'all. They going to whoop our ass. Kellen Moore going to run the score up on us. They going to run it up. I, I hope Mike is back. But then again, I don't hope Mike is back. Because if, if Mike is back, we got a chance. But Mike ain't back. It's going to get ugly, y'all. I hate to say it. But still tune in here. Because... The thing about it is, people can look at it and say fair weather. Nah, it's not fair weather. It's telling the truth, right? Don't y'all want the truth? Don't y'all tired of being lied to? I'm going to tell y'all the truth, whether I, I, whether it, it's good, bad, or ugly. I'm going to sit here and tell you the truth. I ain't going to um, sell y'all no rainbows. At least I'm not going to intentionally do it for, for personal gain. Not at all. I'm just a fan with the camera. That's it, y'all. Fan with the camera that has uh, extensive football knowledge based on coaching and playing. That's it. Outside of that, I'm like y'all, and I feel like you guys. All right? I bleed blue and silver. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. Nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. Unless one of my kids becomes an NFL player on another team, and then I'll roll out. But outside of that, that star, this blue and silver, it's embedded in who I am as a person. Loyalty, right? So appreciate y'all for, for, for tuning in. I got one message before I go. Y'all gonna like it. <laughs> and we out. Peace. Peace. Fuck y'all talking about fuck that. The Joneses. Fuck that. The Joneses. Fuck y'all. Y'all full of crackheads and little kids. Fuck all y'all. Fuck Turn the pressure up. I don't quit. I don't fold the pressure. I'm the best. And I know I'm the best. And you know I'm the best.